Assassin's Creed Project Jade Reveal and Details The conceptual title of the game was first leaked on September 6, 2022, and reported by TryHard Guides. It was later confirmed at the Ubisoft Forward livestream during its Assassin's Creed showcase, alongside a short teaser. The game is said to be set in 215 BCE, during the Qing Dynasty China featuring a fully customizable character players can create, marking a series first. Codename Jade is set to feature all the iconic gameplay of the franchise, optimized for an experience with touch controls. The ability to parkour atop the Great Wall of China and sneak through bustling cities was teased. In its alpha stages of testing, which lasted from 15 to 22 December, the game was referred to as Codename Explore. It was during this week that nearly an hour of gameplay footage was leaked on December 18, showing almost complete introductory missions, some open-world exploration, and the ability for players to both decide the protagonist's gender much like Assassin's Creed, Odyssey, and Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, as well as customize their appearance. Assassin's Creed, codename Jade, is the working title for an upcoming mobile installment in the Assassin's Creed series. On September 10, 2022, Assassin's Creed, codename Jade, was teased during the Assassin's Creed Ubisoft Forward Showcase, and an in-engine trailer was shown. Assassin's Creed, codename Jade, is an upcoming title for mobile devices. Set in ancient China during the Qing Dynasty in the 3rd century BC, the game will allow players to create their own custom character and will feature the same style of gameplay as the main console and PC releases. According to the records of the Grand Historian, in the 9th century BC, Fizi, a supposed descendant of the ancient political advisor Gao Yao, was granted rule over the settlement of Qin, in present-day Qingxue County of Shangxi. During the rule of King Xiao of Zhou, the eighth king of the Zhou dynasty, this area became known as the state of Qin. In 897 BC, under the Gongha Regency, the area became a dependency allotted for the purpose of raising and breeding horses. One of Fizi's descendants, Duke Zhuang, became favored by King Ping of Zhou, the thirteenth king in that line. As a reward, Zhuang's son, Duke Xiang, was sent eastward as the leader of a war expedition, during which he formally established the Qin. The state of Qin first began a military expedition into central China in 672 BC, though it did not engage in any serious incursions due to the threat from neighboring tribesmen. By the dawn of the 4th century BC, however, the neighboring tribes had all been either subdued or conquered, and the stage was set for the rise of Qin expansionism. The aristocracy of the Qin were largely similar in their culture and daily life. Regional variations in culture were considered a symbol of the lower classes. This stemmed from the Zhou and was seized upon by the Qin, as such variations were seen as contrary to the unification that the government strove to achieve. Commoners and rural villagers, who made up over 90% of the population, very rarely left the villages or farmsteads where they were born. Forms of employment differed by region, though farming was almost universally common. Professions were hereditary, a father's employment was passed to his eldest son after he died. The Lu Shi Chuanqiu gave examples of how, when commoners are obsessed with material wealth, Instead of the idealism of a man who makes things serve him, they were reduced to the service of things. Peasants were rarely figured in literature during the Qin dynasty and afterwards, scholars and others of more elite status preferred the excitement of cities and the lore of politics. One notable exception to this was Shen Nong, the so-called divine father, who taught that households should grow their own food. If in one's prime he does not plow, someone in the world will grow hungry. If in one's prime, she does not weave, someone in the world will be cold. The Qin encouraged this, a ritual was performed once every few years that consisted of important government officials taking turns with the plow on a special field, to create a simulation of government interest and activity within agriculture, 